afternoon, welcome to my World of Warcraft Pit Battle channel. This is Yamasaurus Lex. Today we should do the garrison battle. And I've got the pleasure of fighting three crazy dudes. They're not really crazy dudes. They're uh, Mr. Terrible and his friends, Karatai and Sloppers. Mr. Terrible and Karatai are elementals. Sloppers is magic. Mr. Terrible has an interesting hit called Weakening Blow, which hits really hard, but can't reduce your health below one, so you can never kill you with Weakening Blow. He uses Spiked Skin at some point in the match, which reduces damage and deals damage back to you, so that's the only way he's got of actually killing you. You could kill yourself on his Spiked Skin, and then use a Love Potion restores 25% of the caster's health and always goes first. Karatai uses Iron Bark which deals elemental damage and reduces damage from each attack. Don't even bother trying to use um, Swarm style abilities because you just won't even get through. It's like Sandstorm, it just wipes that damage out. He uses Aged Yoke which removes all buffs and debuffs, so be careful if you're trying to drop any um, delayed action spells such as Curse of Doom, no chance. It'll get, he uses that very often. Uh, you might just about get a uh, Whirlpool in, but I'm not sure about Geezer, that might get wiped as well. And Leech Seed, which is his only method of getting any health pack, and that deals 148 elemental damage and restores a same amount. Basically, if you can block Leech Seed, which is what we'll do, then you can chip away at his health, and Karatai will die. Finally, Sloppus uh, absorbs standard ability, deals damage, heals himself. Chew, very interesting one. Chews on some grass. The next round deals 532 damage in addition to whatever attack he's planning. And then Stench, which reduces hit damage hit chance by 25% and can be a real pain in the bottom. Did some testing this morning and came up with this setup. Dancing Water Skimmer, it's only a, a uh, balance. I think I've got one further down that might be ready to level up. Power maybe, or it might be a uh, Emerald Strider, I'm not sure. Either way, Water Jet, Cleansing Rain, standard abilities. Then the leveling pet, which is very difficult and very slow if you don't use something that gives anti-elemental hits, but this marsh fiddler takes so long to kill him with, but it's a good example of how you can do it. We're using skitter, just as a standard hit. Cocoon strike, which we're going to use to block the leech seed attack from Karatai and prevent his healing, and then nature's touch, just to give us a bit of a a boost every few rounds to put in the game. And then finally, against magic, Skylynx, my spawn of Anixia. Tail Sweep, very strong against um, magic pets. Even though he goes first, I, mean, I could use Breath. I'll try it with Breath instead. Healing Flame and Lift Off. Now, Healing Flame and Lift Off very important. Healing Flame. Which stores 361 health plus half the last hit taken by the user. Now, um, Sloppus hits pretty hard with Chew. And what I'll do is I take advantage of Skylink's speed bonus and actually heal with Healing Flame directly after the Chew attack. And it will heal half of the Chew damage back. It's very good at keeping Skylink's in the game. And finally, Lift Off for when Healing Flame's on cooldown. Lift off will get us out of the way of one of those chew attacks every four rounds. So it's a pretty decent setup, you'll see how it works. It's pretty easy, it's just time consuming this one is. I'm sure it'd be a lot faster using different pets, but these are pretty easily obtainable pets. Plus a leveler, so I'm not going to complain. First off we use Cleansing Rain to boost aquatic damage by 25%. 
Then we use pump. Now um, Mr. Terrible's hitting us, but it doesn't matter because he can't take us below one health with that attack. We weaken him below. Now, generally, he's popped his heal by now, but he hasn't. There you go. Pops his heal before we've done any damage. God knows why. But that means now his heal's on cooldown, so we're just going to smash him. So one hit off Water Jet. And then because we've already got our pump primed, one hit from pump. And Mr. Terrible isn't so terrible anymore. He's actually dead. Now you've got now nothing that we can do against Karatai works, so we'll simply let him die. Iron Bar hits quite well, so be aware of that. He will he spams it as his only hit. Leveling Pet comes in next. And be aware when Leech Seed is on cooldown. I'm not going to use this yet, I'm just going to skitter. Because he never uses Leech Seed initially. I think he will now use Aged Yoke. Yeah. And his next hit. Right. So, I've got the timing wrong on that, but that's alright because he doesn't make much difference in the early stages. I heal whilst in the cocoon. And then Skitter. The trick now is to use Cocoon Strike when there's one round left before Leech Seed activates. That's when you use Cocoon Strike and it blocks the Leech Seed. And the secret to beating Karatai is to stop his healing. So we use Cocoon Strike. And then I'll heal from there. And as you can see, Leech Seed is blocked. So he's got no healing ability now. All he can do is try and wipe off any dots we drop on him, which we don't, so he's wasting moves. And uh and poke him with Skitter. I tried using um Swarm, the other ability, but it has no effect because he keeps Iron Bark up consistently because of spamming it as his only attack and Iron Bark completely negates the damage from Swarm abilities, so don't even bother. Whatever attack you want, no matter how weak, it will chip away his damage, and that is what you want to do. As you see, your carry pet comes out of this attack quite well. So, this is a strategy that would work for a moth, um, it would work for anything with dive, submerge, burrow. Dodge, deflect, you name it. If you can block the leech seed, then you can simply chip away with the other damage. Now, Sloppers comes in. I can't do much damage to Sloppers. However, I will, just for the sake of it, show him. can resist that um, stench shot that he tried to throw in. No, it wasn't stench, it was to use to absorb. He can do some damage, but... I'm going to let him get hit now. Just to get that 260 damage in. But I mean, he heals 160 of it back and it deals a really nice chunk. So be very careful of that. Don't spend 5 minutes getting to this point and then lose your carry pet. Not when Skylinks can. Uh... So, what we're going to do now, I'm going to use Lift Off to get out of the way of the impending Chew attack. That does a decent amount of damage, 636, I'm not going to complain at that. Now we choose again, I'm not going to worry about that, I'm going to breath. Beautiful. Nice damage. And now I'm going to use Healing Flame, because it will heal 50% of the last attack, which was the damage done by Chew. <clears throat> Which basically means that Skylings stays pretty happy all the way through. You're going to get a few misses, don't worry about it, because you've been keeping stench on the ones that you do hit with. I'm actually surprised I didn't use Breath before because that's uh, pretty decent. 
like I say, it's not imperative if you miss, because as long as you keep your timings right, you can always heal back that chew damage. And now, Stench has dropped off, because he's going to use it probably next round. Which means I hit, and that's it, Schlafus is dead. Now basically, the Calipet comes through with full health, the Dragon comes through with full health. There are other creatures that use Breath, and uh, but I've, I've found the synergy between the healing ability and lift off to be really good at my spawn elixir. I'm sure there's other pets that you can do it with, and I'll probably have a mess about it with it, see if I can make it a bit quicker. But there we go. That's that video done. Have fun. Do a level in a few pets. It's a slow process, but if you've got some lurking about, they're level 20 to 24. You know, one match per level, and then one for good luck, probably over the course of a, a few rounds. You'll see them leveled. And I, I got my... um. 75th pet level to 25 today, and actually it'll be 76 once the fiddle is done. Uh, I think I named some pets on the closing mode for my subscribers. So Chloe Pratt didn't make any um, any preference to what she wanted naming, so I named this brilliant blood feather after her. Um, what else have we got? I have already mentioned Matt Jackson wanted the Garden Moth naming after him, so every time Matt Jackson goes into battle, you can think about Matt Jackson there. And we've got a little Miss Sunshine, who is um, my daughter Bethany, and I named my my preferential Void Caller after her, so that I had a, a distinction between whichever one I was picking. And finally, oh no, not finally, Bloppy You, named after Wilson Blake, little Tarot Ghost because he loves dragons. And then there should be. No, that's the four of them. Nobody else has subscribed yet. I did name this frog Ribbit because I wanted to make sure I could find the destruction frog, whoever he was. So, if you'd like a pet named after you, then subscribe and then. Let me know which one you'd like. I'll just relatively slowly scroll through this list of the 25s for now because there's so many of them. I'm sure there's one that you'd like naming after you somewhere in there. And are we nearly there? Yep, that's it. So